Hello everybody, TheGboozy3 here. Today I'm going to show you a very basic beginner's method on the 2x2. Okay, so the basic method that I'm going to show you today on the 2x2 is actually based off that of the 3x3. And so if you don't already know how to solve a 3x3, I'd actually recommend learning that first. It may seem counterintuitive, but every single algorithm that you'll need for the 2x2 but one, you'll actually learn in the 3x3 method. And so it'll actually benefit you from learning that one first. And so if you have one and you plan to learn it in the future, I actually recommend doing that now. So click the little I button in the corner and then click on that tutorial and learn that one first. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we can begin. If you don't know how to solve a 3x3, you can still follow this tutorial. It'll just be a little bit more difficult. But yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to know is, of course, notation. So you would have learned this on the 3x3, but if you don't know it real quick, I'm just going to show you. So notation is basically how you do moves on a cube. A uh, U move would be like this, turning the U or up layer clockwise. This would be U prime, turning the U up layer counterclockwise. Prime means counterclockwise, no prime means clockwise. And then two means turn that layer twice. So U2 would be like this. And so like doing L2, which is the left side, would be like this. This is L prime, this is L. R2, R prime, R, which is right. F, F2, F prime, that's front. D is like this, that's down. D2, D prime, and then B is back. So that's B, B prime, B2. So now that we got that down, let's begin. So there's one very basic algorithm that you would have learned on the 3x3. It's R prime, D prime, R, D. And it's basically used for getting pieces from down here up here. So by doing them in certain ways, you can get corners from down here to up here. And since all that this puzzle is, is corners, it's pretty easy to use that on this cube. Okay, so now the first step of the 2x2 two two is the first layer. And so we'll just find a piece it doesn't matter which piece, just a white piece. We'll just start with this one. It doesn't matter which side it's on because there's no centers to show you which side to start on. And so we'll just start with this piece. It has white on it, so we'll use it. And so now we'll find a piece that goes next to it. And so you see this piece has white and red on it. And so we'll find another piece with white and red on it. So this one right here does. And so what we'll do is this is on the bottom layer. And so we'll line it up underneath the slot that it needs to go into. It needs to go up into this slot. And so we'll just put it right underneath it. Same thing we did on the 3x3. Three three. Repeat your algorithm, r prime, d prime, r, d, until it gets in. Okay, now for the next piece, we'll just find another spot. How about this one? So we need to find a piece with both white and uh, green on it. So we'll look around for it. And it's actually up here. And so we can just take this out real quick using our algorithm, just like that. There we go. And now we'll bring it underneath its slot do our algorithm a couple times, or just once, and I'll get in. And now this one, it's already in its spot, and we just need to rotate it. So yeah. I'm going a little bit fast just for you guys who already know how to solve a 3x3, because most of you will. But if you don't know, you can still follow along. But now we just have the first layer, and we continue on to the last one. Okay, so now we're on to the second layer. And so we're just going to do the last step that we did on the 3x3, which, if you don't remember, it involved doing something like this until you rotated each of these pieces. And so if you remember, we just do the algorithm a couple times and it will eventually rotate the piece into its correct spot. And so we'll use that on the two by two. And so you see, we'll start with this one and we'll do that algorithm once from D prime R D and again, and we'll keep doing it until it gets aligned like this. So you see we have yellow on top and now we can just do a U move and continue with the next piece. Again, pretty familiar concept if you know how to solve a 3x3. If you don't, just do the algorithm over and over again like that until it lines up like that. Do it a couple times. And there we go. And now we have yellow on top. And so there's one algorithm that you can use to fix this case. And so most of the time, it'll either look like this, where you have these two pieces switched, or like this, where you have these two pieces that need to kind of switch opposite like that. And so first, to solve this first case, what you want to do is just line it up like this. And this is called the T permutation. You may know this from other places, but it's just called a T permutation. What you do is you line up these two pieces at the top right here and do R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, 
R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. It's not extremely required to use that algorithm. You can actually use all three by three algorithms to solve the two by two. But in my opinion, this makes it a lot faster. So I really recommend doing this even if you're just a beginner. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. Start off with one piece, do your algorithm a couple times until you get it into the right spot like that. We'll move this piece out because we don't want it there. And we'll do our algorithm a couple more times until we actually get it into the place we want it. And we'll do this algorithm a couple times until we get it into the place that we want it. There we go, turn it around. Do our algorithm on each of the pieces that need it. There we go. And now we get to the last layer. And this is one more case that you can get the opposite thing I showed you earlier. And what you want to do is just do your T permutation, which I can do quite fast. And then line it up and do it once more with the two pieces that need to be switched right here. And there we go. We have our 2x2 two two solved. And that's just the basic beginner's method of the 2x2. Two two. It's a little bit more complex, like I said. Most people don't know this, but uh, if you know that one last algorithm, it will really help you a lot in the long run. And the benefit of it is it actually makes learning the next method on the 2x2 two two and the next method that you'll learn on the 3x3 three three a little bit easier. Plus, you'll be faster in general, so it's just a good thing to do. But yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you. It's just a really quick tutorial. Uh, funny story, I was actually planning on making a square one tutorial today, but it epically failed. So, 2x2. Two two. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, leave a like down below if it helped you at all. And also leave a suggestion for a future video like this. Like, if you actually want to see that square one tutorial that doesn't fail, if you actually want to learn how to solve that, leave that in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to consider it. Stay subscribed to be notified when another video like this comes out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!